So today we want to talk about a new book that Destiny Image just released. It's called Chasing the Avatar by a new author named Jovan Jones. And I worked with Jovan um, from the beginning of this process and the reason why I loved her story is because it's actually true. Although this is a fiction book, it's really based on true life events and on Jovan's life. Um, and she's a really amazing woman, um, and you'll get to know her if you read the book. But she was a Harvard graduate, um, and she was studying, actually, um, at Harvard whenever this book, the tale of this book begins. She uh, was born and raised in the Christian faith, but something was missing in her life. And as she was studying at Harvard, she was becoming more and more dissatisfied with... Um, Depressed, actually. Yeah with her spiritual experience. And so anyways, she, she became aware and um, began to be enlightened by some uh, Eastern religions. And so anyways, she met an avatar there at Harvard and she dropped everything in her life, her family included, took off to India to live in an ashram for two years. And this book really chronicles the beginning of that story, how she left, um, what happened to her when she got to India. Her life as a Hindu. Exactly. And I wanted to talk with Sarah today too because she has read this book and she was really, really liked it. Um, so Sarah, what? tell us what you really thought was profound about this book and why you feel like people would really enjoy it. Well, it's, it's basically just the search for truth. Mm -hmm. um, something that I, that I think that a lot of people really would understand right uh, people who are searching for world religions kind of open-minded mm -hmm. still haven't made up their mind mm -hmm. would appreciate this because it's an insider's view mm -hmm. it really does show what what went on in truth exactly it shows the spiritual side it shows the the physical side the living conditions mm -hmm. it really explains the culture right That's so cool. it's really interesting in that aspect as well mm -hmm. but from a Christian perspective someone who has loved ones that would be into these mm -hmm. these types of religions, mm -hmm. Buddhism, Hinduism, mm -hmm. uh, Eastern religions would appreciate it mm -hmm. because it kind of explains a little bit of what the hold that this has over right. the followers. It really it really explains a lot of that because Christianity hasn't done mm -hmm. a very good job right. of really explaining yes. the draw. Yes. For, for these people. And it's the fact is they're getting something that they're mm -hmm. not getting from Christianity, and that's the supernatural. Exactly. And that is very clear in mm -hmm. the book. Right. And Jovan's parents in the book really have a hard time dealing with this because they don't have any contact with her. And their only way to really have any control over the situation is prayer. That's right. So that was really cool because... Again, it kind of takes on the spiritual warfare mm -hmm. tone, so intercessors intercessors would really, really appreciate it. Right. But, again, if you're not really into fiction, mm -hmm. it's kind of cool in that aspect, too, because yeah. whenever whenever she's talking about the prayer life that mm -hmm. her parents have together, she goes into kind of explaining and teaching a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's really subtle, so it doesn't yeah. interfere with the storytelling. Yeah. But it really explains, and you get to understand how that made a difference. Not just that it did, right. but how and why. That's awesome. So it was really intense as well. Cool. Well, our recommendation is you pick up a copy of this book and read it. I think you'll really enjoy it. 